Hi, today I'm going to show you the dual sim TV fast phone from CDR King. Now this phone costs 880 peso, which is around 20 US dollars. The main selling feature is the uh, TV functionality, which has an extendable antenna, and as you can see, lets you watch local TV stations, analog TV stations. Now, I'm not going to go into every little feature that this phone has because it's the same on most low-end phones. I'll just show you the main ones. Now, there's no uh, internet connectivity, so no Wi-Fi, no 3G, no WAP, no internet at all. Um, but on a phone that costs just 880 peso, you don't really expect that. Um, the main features, of course, are the TV functionality, supporting two SIMs. It has a camera. It's not a great camera, but it's okay. So, let's take a close-up of the phone and uh, I'll show you its main features. So let's take a close-up look at the phone. Um, just slide this back cover off. First thing you'll notice is that it has been approved by the NTC. Now this battery is actually a clone of a Nokia battery so it's easily replaceable and it's interchangeable with other Nokia phones. You'll notice there's two SIM card slots. I've got a globe SIM in one and the other one is empty. There's also a slot here for a micro SD card. You have the camera lens and the flash for the camera. The charger is also the mini uh, Nokia type, so you can use Nokia chargers or the generic ones that are out there. Of course, it comes with a charger. It also has a micro USB port, which can be used as mass storage, or you can charge via that, so that's very useful. These two LEDs here uh, for a torch functionality, which is pretty useful. Um, and of course, this is the expandable TV antenna just here. So let's put everything back together. And let's turn on the phone. Now, I think you'll be quite impressed with how quickly this phone turns on. So press the power button. And there you go, it's booted already and it's searching for the network and it knows that the other SIM is empty. The screen is quite vibrant, uh, you'll see it's already latched onto Globe if we try and make it call. Put it on hands free. Please enter call card number, followed by the number sign. And you'll see that worked fine. Now, you'd be surprised at how loud that loudspeaker can go, that hands free speaker. That was on its lowest volume and if you put it on the highest volume, it's enough to wake up the whole neighbourhood. So let's go into messaging first and try out the keyboard. As you probably would have noticed, it's a full QWERTY keyboard, so you should be able to type pretty quickly once you get used to it. There you go. Hello, how are you? Um, I'm sure once the keyboard is worn in a bit, it'll be a lot easier to type as well. Now, as mentioned earlier, it does have a camera, um, so let's take a look at that. There you go. As you can see, or you might not be able to tell so well, um, but the camera functionality isn't actually that good. It's acceptable. Um, it's definitely not going to rival a modern cell phone, um, but it's good enough. It, it does an okay job. It can shoot video or um, just pictures, and yeah, it does okay. I mean, it's really not going to win any awards for the camera. Now they say on the packaging and on the website that it can actually support MP4s um, but I loaded a bunch of MP4 files onto here with different codecs and basically I couldn't get any of them to work. So if anyone has this phone or any of the other CDR King, Mobile King phones and knows how to get MP4 videos working on this, I'd really like to know. Now it has Bluetooth which is good if you have a hands-free um, Bluetooth headset or if you want to share files. Um, not something that I really use but it's useful to have it there. Now it does let you install Java applications um, and it comes with one Java game installed uh, which is a puzzle type game. It's not overly exciting but it's okay. Um, now you might have noticed back there it actually says GPRS which of course is for internet albeit a very slow type of internet um, but nothing actually happens when I try to go into it so earlier I said it doesn't have any internet connectivity options at all um, perhaps it does because it says GPRS but I have no idea how to get that working 
In the multimedia section, you'll see there's an audio player because you can put your own MP3 files on here, music files, um, an image viewer, a video player, which as I discussed, I can't get it to play MP4s like it's meant to, a video recorder, which is just using the uh, cell phone camera, um, the phone TV, which I'm gonna go into very soon, and an FM radio, which just requires you to have the supplied headset plugged in, which plugs into the uh, micro USB port and a sound recorder. Okay, now let's go into the main feature of this phone, the TV. Let me start by extending the antenna. Now, I should tell you that indoors, it doesn't pick up channels as well as outdoors. And while I'm recording this video uh, for YouTube, it's actually beyond midnight. So a lot of the local channels have gone off the air. So let's just turn this on. If I turn the on. You can see that if I take my hand away from the antenna, the signal gets worse. If you just hold it with the antenna, it's a little bit more usable. You can also adjust the position to try and pick up better. So you see there I'm getting a much better signal than I was over here. Let me turn this down. Um, so you can just change channels by you going left and right. There's not many channels online at this time of night. And the volume is done with up and down. <laughs> The volume can go extremely loud, um, so loud that, again, just like the loudspeaker, you would really wake up everyone in the neighborhood. Um, you might be surprised to know that I ran this TV and it lasted for four hours straight. Now, I thought that was pretty impressive. I literally just put it on a channel, left it on its own uh, with a volume about halfway and for four hours straight until the battery died. So I was very impressed with that. My only complaint about the TV functionality is that you can't make it full screen. It's nearly full screen, but you've just got this area here and this area here. Um, again, if anyone knows of a trick to make it full screen, I'd love to know, but I think it's something to do with uh, the chips they're using inside the phone and how they overlay onto the screen. So I think it's actually a limitation of the chips. I don't think any software changes could be made to support that because it's the same thing when you try to play videos that you've recorded on the, um, the camera here. It's still okay, but it's just a shame because this is such a, you know, it's a pretty good sized screen and they're not quite maximizing its use. So I'll just give you a close up of the screen so you can see what it's like. But if you are going to consider the prophetic importance of the book of Ezekiel, Itong kaharap sa hinaharap at ang hinaharap na sinasabing tatahanan ng Diyos magpakailanman. So overall I think this phone is a real bargain. For just 880 peso you get a dual sim TV phone. That's pretty impressive. And it's got a full QWERTY keyboard which is backlit so even in the night you can easily use this keyboard. If you have any questions about the phone, or perhaps you have the same phone and you think I've missed out something important, just let me know in the comments section below. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe.